Hey everybody, this is Blake, the first assistant here at Cape Fear National with your tip of the month for the month of June. Uh, we're going to talk about wedge shots and how to hit kind of a knockdown wedge shot. This time of year, uh, wind kind of blows a little bit and sometimes you get caught in between a wedge and maybe a sand wedge or a gap wedge somewhere on the golf course where you got that weird number. Uh, so if it's not quite a full swing, take a little extra club. Uh, we're going to show you kind of how to hit like about an 80 yard wedge shot with a sand wedge. Uh, that's a good number for me. That's kind of my go-to when I lay up. Not quite a full swing. Really what you want to think about is trying to keep your weight on your front foot at address. And when we're in the golf swing, we actually want to keep that weight on that front foot and follow through. So we're really turning around that front foot during the golf swing. That'll help us keep it kind of a little bit lower. It'll also keep us from moving all around trying to help the ball in the air so we can kind of have consistent contact every time with the golf ball. So we'll show you what that looks like. Kind of gives you a little more control of the golf swing. Help you kind of control the ball flight so we don't lose it one direction or the other, keep it out of the wind. If you got any questions, give me a call here. I'll be glad to help you out.